Okay, just quickly, first point, it says for truss analysis is you need to calculate the actions and the loads. Once again, there's a whole stack of worked examples, but let's look at it simply. First up, before you do every, any problem involving forces, the first thing you do is draw a free body diagram. I've got an unknown reaction that's actually pushing some way that way. Reaction left. I've got sitting here 100 kilonewtons. And now I've got here three forces. You can solve this one graphically. This is so difficult to solve graphically. Force 1 must run that way. Force 2 must be vertical. Force 3 must pass through there and through there. Now I'm going to pretend I've drawn this out to scale. There is 50. Don't know why I picked that one as 50. I'll pick this one as 50. There. That's 50 centimetres equals 100 kilonewtons. My reaction on the right is the vertical reaction. That is 19 centimetres. That's 338 kilonewtons. That one there is 40 centimetres. That's 80 kilonewtons. I've already calculated my reactions on the spot. Three forces, three force rule, don't go any further. If it's not drawn to scale and you've got the angles, use your sine rule. A on sine A equals B on sine B equals C on sine C. Let's go through that triangle now. And just draw it back up again. I know that that's at 45 degrees because it says so. drawn out and the angle in there is 20 degrees 45 and 20 is 65 means I need that's 115 degrees just check 115 135 yep 180 okay so that's 100 so 100 kilonewtons 115 is opposite the 100. 100 kilonewtons divided by sine 115 degrees is reaction right. On sine 20, reaction left on sine 45 equals 100 divided by sine 115. And that's just two simple calculations. There's your complete reactions. That's the easiest way to do it.